Orange Leaf went terrible. Now, my next up is going to be likely my last job I'm going to get ever. This means if I get fired in this next and last freaking job, it makes 100 times. Let's see, there were more customers than I anticipated this job, but let's see who we've got. A pink kitty cat got feisty after I tried making her believe the machines were broken. Then there was this guy whose order was too big for a little piece of paper. I could have gotten a bigger piece if I wanted to, but I didn't feel like it. A white tanuki punched me because he couldn't handle the truth, and a princess got impatient when I told her the incorrect price. And let's not get to the part I met Emperor Rayo. I don't need any of his lectures. I even met the green Yoshi who happened to be all the way back to the first customer at my first job at GameStop. I have no idea what went on with that silent orange hooded guy, but later on was that guy I threw car oil on once and a girl I told off at Chuck E. Cheese's. But the worst part was that I got beaten up by the bandicoots. All the 13 ones I met in various jobs. Besides that cop one I met at the casino. I don't feel like talking more on it. Anyway, this is the freaking 99th time I've been fired. This job is set to be my last one as this is my 100th job I'm getting. But, where on earth should I work next? All of my friends including Sia8 are going to feel jealous when I say this, but, I'll get a job as a host in character elimination. Hopefully my 100th job is an improvement. I'm going to the headquarters to see if I can get a job there. This might be the best job to get loads of money. I have never been this excited before. Well, time to head there. Also, I can't seem to find my most hated characters list where I left it, but when I get home I'll look for it again. Alright, I managed to get a hold of Levi Ackerman's hated characters list. What should I do with it? Burn it to the ground. Levi doesn't deserve a list like this. There it is. I see it just after this block. Now let's move and. Oh no. It's the shy canine. Out of all people, why him? If I try to ask him if I can host my own character elimination show, he most likely wouldn't let me. Sure, people gave me second chances in previous jobs. A couple of them were either old customers or even the same bosses from before. But for big jobs like character elimination. I won't get a second chance from someone like the shy canine. I also wonder how he's able to work at Five Guys, the coke shop and here at the same time. He probably got a replacement manager at Five Guys at the least. Anyway, I need to find a way to get the job without him knowing it's me. Now, what should I do? I've got an idea. I'll wear a disguise. Okay. I now have my disguise. Hopefully the shy canine won't recognize me. Time to get this job. Hello there. Welcome to the character elimination headquarters. I am the manager of this place. Is there anything I can help you with? Hello there. I would like to host my own show as a job here. Where do I sign up? Whoa. Slow down for a bit. Before I let you do any of that, you need to answer some of these very important questions. First question. What is your name? My name? It's, um, 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 uh, Purple Titan? Yes. My name is Purple Titan. Okay, I just needed to know who you are because, again, I'd like to know the person I'm preparing for. Next question, how old are you? I am 36 years old. Great. I just wanted to make sure you're old enough to host your own show. 
Any age below 16 can't host their own show, but can get other jobs here. I want to ask, can a younger person host their own show without any help if they are responsible and mature enough to handle it? They can do so if they wish, as long as it's not here or other character elimination headquarters. Well, then again, last month some character of mine was younger and did fine work. Not like I've seen him before or anything. Huh? Nothing. My last question is, are you really and positively sure you're ready to host your own show? You can always back out whenever you want, if you're not too late, of course. I am so ready. Nothing is going to stop me from hosting the show. Okay. I'll get employees to help me set up things for your show, and see if we can get any entrance. I have one last extra question. How many contestants would you like on your show? 24 total contestants should be good enough for me. Nice. We're done here. Meet me in my office tomorrow when everything is set up. Understood. All right. I got everything set up. He should be coming any second now. Good morning. Is everything for my show set up? It sure is. We even got all the contestants who signed up for this show, and they are in the field near one of the old season resorts where they will be staying. I even have these two cards up and ready for you to take. First, take this white card. It will show you the names of the contestants in your show, as well as the team names. Right on. There's that pink card you also need to take. It has all the guidelines and... I know what it is blah blah blah. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving. See you later. Wait, stop. I wasn't finished. You need to take this pink card with you too. It has all the guidelines and rules you need to follow while hosting your show. Please come back. It's too late. He's already gone. But then again, he said he knew the rules. I really hope he does know, because what could this guy possibly get himself into? Okay, let's see who the contestants in my character elimination will be. You have got to be freaking kidding me. You know what I saw. This series consists of mostly people I saw in my jobs before like Mario, Sonic, Fox McCloud, Villager, Link, and more. Why did they get in my show? Just why? There's a few characters I don't recognize or haven't seen at all, but this is still outraging. This might not be as exciting as planned. However, it's too late for me to turn back now. I'm not going to let characters I hate with a passion destroy my chance of getting money. So let's get to the show already. Hello viewers. Welcome to the first episode of my character elimination show. My name is Purple Titan, and I will be the host of the show. Here, two teams compete in tough challenges. I've seen other shows before, so I know how it works. The team that gets better results in a challenge will win and the other team faces elimination. Then you vote someone to leave. Whoever gets the most votes will obviously get eliminated. Later on the merge will arrive, where the teams will dissolve, and everyone is out for themselves. Then it goes all the way to the final two. The prize for whoever wins the whole show is one million dollars. There are a few conditions though. There are no prize votes or interns. Now, Let's show you viewers our teams and contestants. OK contestants. Time to start the first challenge. Your first challenge is to see who can kick a soccer ball the furthest. Go. Okay. Here I go. Hopefully I can kick this ball very far.
nice. 258 feet. I think that was good. Greninja. What the heck was that? You totally cheated with that throw. Cheated? What are you talking about? What did I do that is considered cheating? You ran over the white line. It's there to prevent unfair shots. Since you did that, you cheated. Your throw doesn't count because of this. What? I didn't run over the white line at all. And I would never cheat in my life. If you watch the instant replay, you would see I didn't cross the white line. Screw instant replays. You cheated and that's freaking final. Now let the other contestants have their turns. Now off you go. This is so unfair. I never ran over the line. This is stupid. Alright. I'm next. I can get a good kick after my days of training. That's a decent distance I got there. Roy, what the hell was that with that trajectory? What was so wrong about that kick? It was just fine. I don't like the way you kick at all. Because of this, your shot doesn't count either. Hey, you can't just not count my shot just because you didn't like it. It makes no logical sense. Too bad. I make the rules here Roy. It doesn't count and that's that. This is dumb. I can't believe you gave me the same treatment you gave to Greninja. Kicking soccer balls eh? This is almost too easy. Nice. That was farther than everyone else so far. Meta Knight. You totally cheated. You used some of your powers from your Galaxia Sword to kick the ball that far. What? I didn't use my Galaxius powers. You saw the kick. You should know I didn't use any powers so I could have an advantage. I saw you use a bit of it. Don't lie to me. You probably got some of it before you went up for your turn. Your throw doesn't count since you cheated. Hey, Mr. Host. Meta Knight wasn't lying. He didn't use his powers from Galaxia. He kicked the ball normally. He's just really good at this since he was in a show before. Kirby. I can't believe you're lying and defending a cheater like Meta Knight. For this, you lose your turn to kick. What? But I swear I'm telling the truth. He didn't cheat at all. I agree with Meta Knight and Kirby, even though I'm not on their team. Host, you should stop making up lies and other bullcrap that contestants are cheating. Villager, you lose your turn as well for doing that. Anybody else want to stand up for Meta Knight? No? That's what I thought. Now let's continue. That was an awkward moment, but now, my turn to kick. King K. Rule, since you mentioned the argument between me, Meta Knight, Kirby, and Villager, you lose your turn to kick too. Don't bring stupid crap like that again next time. What? Gra. This is so stupid. Honestly. I'm not even going to bother taking a shot at kicking if you're just going to treat everyone's shots like garbage. You're making the rules here very unfair. Fine, then don't kick. I probably would have done the same to you Link. Wow Link. You couldn't even attempt to see if you could score our team a point. You're a coward. I'm not a coward King DDD. I'm just being careful. Looks like I'm the last kicker up. Time to show what I'm made of. My kick is going to be on fire. <laughs> wow. Nice. Best shot ever. Oh my freaking god Incineroar. That was the worst shot I have seen out of everyone else. You're too overpowered. I'm not overpowered. It's just how I throw. No. Don't say it. Actually, your kick was so overpowered, I'm saying your team loses. And instead of calling you and your team up for elimination, I'm eliminating you automatically. But no one even voted for me. No one even got the chance to either. Come with me right freaking now. Or else. So any last words? Well, where will this cannon launch me? 
It will launch you back to your hometown. There's a trampoline place where you will land and stop falling. Now goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Nice going Mr. Host. You just eliminated one of our team members for no logical reason. Ganondorf, you better pipe down right now. Or how about I eliminate you right now too? Anyway, that was today's challenge everyone. Come back tomorrow for your next challenge. Welcome back to another episode of my character elimination show. In the last episode the contestants kicked soccer balls as far as they could, and the variety mob team won victory. Don't forget that you made most of our kicks not count for extremely dumb reasons. Villager, you better keep your little baby face shut. Unless, you would like to be eliminated. Anyway, your next challenge is a quiz by me. Listen to questions I give you and give me the correct responses. Those that get correct answers are awarded a point for their team. Let's get started. The first question goes to Luke Cario. What is the capital of the United States? I know this because I've been there before. It's Alaska. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Sea 8 Island. No. Alaska is right. And Sea 8 Island is not even a real state. Look up capital of the United States on the internet and you'll see. Nope. Alaska is false. Sea 8 Island is right. Your team gets no point. Okay, next. This question is for you Fox. Who would you consider your best friend? That would be Falco. That is incorrect. I would consider Wolf to be your friend. What the actual fuck? No way. I would never like Fox that way. Wolf, for answering this instead of Fox, he won't get a point for your team, and you won't get to answer any questions for your team either. So screw off. Okay. Next. Mario. This one is for you. Which year were you first created? 1983. That is incorrect. Well, looks like this time the Rocking Syndicate team wins this challenge. This means, the Variety Mob, you are up for elimination. Come with me to the Elimination Center. Okay contestants. I have 11 candy sticks. If you don't get one, you are eliminated. Let's announce the elimination votes. You haven't even gave the viewers a chance to vote. You just told us to come here after the challenge was over. I don't care. Now, Link, Pac-Man, Lucario, Bowser, and Palutena are safe at 1835 votes. Greninja, Mario, Sonic, and King DDD are safe at 5 septillion votes. Which means Kirby, Meta Knight, and Bayonetta are eliminated at 82 decillion 162 no million 358 octillion 386 septillion 173 sextillion 682 quintillion 762 quadrillion 229 trillion 326 billion 358 million 372 thousand 364 votes. Hey! You can only eliminate one contestant per episode. You can't just eliminate multiple people that way unless they say so. Who really cares Link? I'm happy that me tonight and Kirby are eliminated. Now they won't get in my plans of winning the one million dollars. King DDD. Let me ask you this. Why are you arch enemies with Kirby and me tonight? Because they always come in and wreck my plans whenever I'm about to have the greatest moments. Or rather, that pink marshmallow won't leave me alone. You know King DDD, you could always be more considerate than you are right now and actually make best friends with Kirby. Shut up Greninja. I came here to win the 1 million dollars so I could build myself a new castle that's anywhere far from Kirby and his friends. That's all I care about right now. Well, I guess I'll have to eliminate King DDD too. Ha 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 ha. That's karma dude. You idiots! Thanks to you and the pink marshmallow, I got freaking eliminated! This is all your fault!
Okay viewers. Welcome to the final episode of my character elimination show. I'm with the final two contestants, Falco Lombardi and Palutena. There is no challenge, nor will there be anyone getting eliminated. Instead, we will see who got the most votes and will get the one million dollars. Alright guys. Looks like the winner of my character elimination is... No one. What? That's right. No one. Neither of you two or the other contestants made me satisfied throughout the whole show. So now, the money is mine. Why you? I'm going to freaking... Oh no, are you alright? Well viewers, I hope you enjoy this show. See you round. Well, it's been a week since my character elimination show ended. I wonder when I'll get the money. Oh, my phone is ringing. I wonder who could it be? Hello? Oh, hey the shy canine. Do you need something? You want to have a talk with me? Okay, I'm on my way. I'm here. Is something wrong? Come behind my desk, and take a look at the ratings of your show. Huh? Well, okay then. Well, what do you have to say after seeing this? Does this mean I'll get money now? Are you serious? No. This is why you should have taken the rule card I was gonna give you. What are you talking about? You never reminded me of that. I was going to give you that pink card, which was the rule card, but you just ran off saying you knew what it was. Looks like you didn't after all. Here. Read it and you'll see. Oh, I see. So, does this mean I'm not getting any money? Yes. But not only did you break the rules, make this show a waste, get super bad ratings, and not wait for me to finish the lecture, but you're also fired. You're a terrible host. I do have one question though. What did you do with the one million dollars? I have it right here. I guess if I spent the money, I would have gotten arrested, so was it a good thing I returned it? Actually, I feel kind of bad for you, so I'm letting you keep the million for yourself. I always have batches of other million dollar cases in storage for future shows. So yeah, take the million and go home. But I better not see hosting another character elimination ever again. This is the best day ever thank you so much I am out of here now okay bye. Wow. I can't believe he fell for what I pulled. Oh boy oh boy. I wonder what I should spend this on first. We've got you surrounded. Hands up in the air purple titan, or should I say, my good for nothing son Levi Ackerman. Wait. Dad. How do you know it's me? And you work as a cop now? Just for the time being honestly. But still. You're under arrest for getting fired at 100 jobs in a row. You're also on the no-hire list permanently. Now, get in the police car now. You will be in jail for a whole year. Bring that case with you, and get yourself out of the purple punk outfit right freaking now. I kind of wish I never got fired from my 43rd job, but even though I'm getting put in the slammer for a year I still got the million. Now let's open up the case to count the money. No! 
so I actually kept the $1 million in this sack the whole time. But didn't Levi Ackerman get the way with the case? Don't worry. I knew that was Levi Ackerman all along, so in case he was going to be bad again, I replaced the real $1 million with Monopoly play money. Oh, that's very sly, man. Nice job.